One. All right, inside the... Okay, here we are. <laughs> Woodlands Backyard. Hey, this place is sweet. This is Cruiser 96. This is Mark Neiman. That's right. Inside the circle. Why are we here today? You're playing a gig yes. for Wrestlers in Business Network. Central Ohio chapter. Why are yes. you here? Uh, play some music. Um, but uh, the matches are coming a little quicker than I thought. So uh, I'm sort of with the crowd watching, you know, but there will be times when I do play music. I'll probably close down with maybe four or five songs for sure. Yeah. Total supporter of local yes. wrestling in Central Ohio. That's true. There are, there's only one other guy that does it more, but he doesn't <laughs> want to be behind the camera. You are part of a duo yes. that brings high school wrestling in Central Ohio to life. Yeah. Well, Why do you do it? Why uh, do you do it? You know, well, it started as a passion. Well, it's, it's a passion. We didn't feel that there was enough coverage from the local media. And uh, my sidekick, Sean, brought an idea for the district tournament to talk about the 14 stories that existed. And I said, let's do that. Well, we came back the next year and he was like, dude, I wanna do a weekly episode. I was like, man, I am so down with this. So we had a lot of, I had a lot of time. He had a lot of time. It was a whole lot different 12 years, 10 years ago <laughs> right. than it is today. But I will say this, we're trying our best to keep it going. This might be a Greco match. It might be a Greco match. We're not, hey, we're not Greco averse, yeah. <laughs> right? But we're going to keep talking That's because right. you now, 12 years, 10, 11, 12 years later, you're still devoting the same amount of time. Trying. What? Why? I mean, I can't do it. Yeah. I devoted myself to uh, when my kids were going through high school. I loved high school wrestling. Yeah. You still do it. Your son's out. He's yeah. state qualifier before. That's right. So you keep um, doing it. What? what? Yeah, yeah. Uh, keep doing it because, well, it's tough to stop. That's number one. Because we've had, I think, somewhere between eight or nine classes come through from freshman to senior that have had the experience of Inside the Circle. So now it's tough to stop. But I mean, if there's someone out there who wants to take it over, all it takes is an <laughs> iPhone and a whiteboard. You have access to hey, my studio any day of the week. It's <laughs> premium pay too, by the way. I mean, what do you do? I mean, yeah, we're raking in the big bucks. We probably stand to lose anywhere from 350 to 500 every year. You know uh, what's great travel, about that? Yeah. That shows the passion. I'm yeah. the same way. All yeah. we do is cover wrestling. That's All it. we want to do is tell stories. Yes. These guys, we got a four-time state qualifier from a Division three oh. school yes. in Mechanicsburg. I'm not going to dive into state why didn't champ. he say, oh, champ. I, yeah, I yeah. said qualifier. You did. Shame That's on me. Okay. I was a four-time section qualifier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll run through <laughs> me with a double leg for that, right? He might. So... Yes. Why didn't he go to Graham? Why? There's stories there, and yes. inside the circle will develop those stories, right? Right. Well, that would be a definite. Well, you know, one. Okay. So somebody asked me one time, what's the what would be a dream for inside the circle if money wasn't or time wasn't an issue? To go into wrestling rooms to celebrate what a wrestling like. Some people have dedicated a lot of time, effort, energy, and sweat and money to a dedicated wrestling room that they've got their school to purchase. Like, wouldn't it be great to go to that wrestling room and talk about how they got that? Wrestling Room. That would be one thing. Um, another thing would be end of the year ceremony, end of the year banquet would be awesome. And each uh, state champ would, uh, them and a guest would be free. Every state place winner uh, would get a guest, and every state qualifier would get a guest from all three divisions. Central Ohio banquet, and then every state champ would get their um, state tournament bracket given to them at that special presentation. We try to find a keynote speaker, but man, when you talk about the pipe dreams. I mean, that's one of them, but I mean. How much time do you have, Mark Neiman? Can you put more effort into this sport than you already get? Oh my gosh, well, you know, I think over the next two or three years, it's possible I can get back into coaching full-time as a head coach, so we'll see how that goes. I mean, at that point, all bets are all. Like, we definitely need someone to step up and take over for the whiteboard. The whiteboard predictions are an eight to 12 hour day. I take a personal day from work. It's three hundred fifty dollars I lose in order to do that. So I mean, I, I even factor that into the three fifty to five hundred dollars of travel of you getting just a room. It. Yeah, no kidding. I didn't even think about that, but you know, ultimately, it's for the kids. We love the kids, and uh, we just enjoy Central High Wrestling. There is nobody better than me personally that enjoys what you do <laughs> for the state, for the Central Ohio wrestling. I yes. know there are parents that are out there that feel the same way I do, and future parents that are coming up. Yeah. Thank you for what you do. Man, I appreciate it. It certainly does help that your kid's not involved anymore because the hate mail doesn't come from anybody like that anymore. Yeah. It's all those, you didn't pick my kid to get third. You got him, you got him going fourth or whatever. Now, then we don't get all that much hate mail. At least I don't. Sean might, but I don't. It's hashtag <laughs> prove us wrong. We all That's know right. that. Right? Let's do it. Yes. All right. Hey, hey thank thanks you. again. And Not now you are inside the circle. <laughs>